This is part two of the Totoro tutorial. Next, invert your work so that you won't have difficult time doing it later. Trust me, it's going to save time. If you need to, you can use your crochet hook to help you turn it inside out. Now you're starting to see the tips of the ears forming. It should look like a cone and not a flat circle. For this next row, do one single crochet in each of the 8 stitches. Do this again for the next row so you should end up with 8 stitches at the end. Then do one single crochet in the first, second, and third stitch, and two single crochets in the fourth stitch. Repeat the sequence two times. You should end up with 10 stitches at the end. At some point, the ears will start getting larger so you can insert the free end of yarn into the ears. It can be bothersome after a while, so you can cut it shorter or stuff the whole length of yarn inside the ears. Next, do one single crochet in each of the 10 stitches. Do this again for the next row. So you should end up with two rows with 10 stitches. Next, do one single crochet in the first, second, third, and fourth stitch. Then do two single crochets in the fifth stitch. Repeat the sequence two times. You should end up with 12 stitches. Next, do one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. This is going to be your last row. Finish off this ear by cutting off the yarn. Be sure to leave a good amount of yarn just in case you have to sew something closed. 
Then insert the free end of the yarn in the loop and pull. Repeat all of the steps you just did for the second ear. Please click here for part 3.